we've done it different ways. In the case of Mr. Go Chok Tong, the 2G, uh, the, we had Mr. Go Chok Tong as one DPM, uh, clearly identified as uh, the successor, and at the same time supported by Mr. Ong Ting Chung, who was second DPM. Uh, in my case, the ministers settled on me, and later on I appointed deputy prime ministers, a series of them. Uh, in the case of uh, Mr. Heng Sui Kiat and Mr. Chan Chun Singh, on that occasion, the ministers who caucus, uh, who, 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 who were involved, uh, thought that they wanted to have a, a pairing and that that would be the best choice. In this case, the exercise was to choose the leader of the 4G team. It was not to choose his deputy. It was not to choose a 5G leader. Therefore, there was no decision made on the deputy, and in due course, Lawrence will decide who will be his deputy and who will be in his core team. And I hope he and his colleagues will work hard to identify and induct more promising leaders into the team to build up the 5G team for Singapore. In choosing a leader, we are always looking for somebody who can bring the team together to get the best out of each team member. And especially this time, I advise the ministers that this should be a major consideration in choosing the next leader. The world is getting more complicated. Our challenges are getting, more, uh, are getting greater and more multifarious. Our internal politics is also evolving, and you must maximize the abilities and the experiences and the instincts of people from a wide range of backgrounds and get them to work together so that you have an outstanding result which no single person can deliver. It's always been like that, but much more so now. <coughs> Even with Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, he had a core team of ministers who helped him achieve many of the things which Singapore did, Mr. Go Chok Tong, uh, Mr. Dr. Goku Sui, Mr. Rajaratnam, Lim Kim San. Um, without them, much less would have been done. Uh, Mr. Go Chok Tong had a strong team too, and I have greatly benefited from my ministers in Cabinet, and I think it will be even more so with Lawrence. Lawrence has already emphasized the importance of teamwork within the ministers, amongst the ministers. To be effective as a PM, he must be able to trust and rely on his ministers, and his ministers must also be team players, supporting the PM, their PM, and supporting the team. And they all have to help the team to score goals collectively for Singapore. So if it means passing the ball to somebody else who can do the, who can head it in, you must be willing to do that. And that's how the team has to work. And that's how Singapore cabinets have worked and been able to deliver results. 